there's anyone here who can show just cause why this marriage should not take place, speak now or forever hold your peace. Hey, the, the jackal objects. Let the young man speak. Why do you think these two should not be joined? Uh, <laughs> marriage is outdated. It's uh, um, a, a primitive remnant of a, of a pre-computer age, you know, like with this ring until death do us part. I mean, there are arcane, archaic phrases with no real meaning. I mean, are they internet compatible? I mean, you know, he could still be using dial-up and she could be a high-speed chick. Are their servers in sync? <laughs> You. He is my boyfriend. Me? Yeah. Wait, really? uh, excuse us. <laughs> there now. Didn't I tell you that Spaghettini was a bad influence? Well, he keeps it interesting. Oh, oh my God. You, you, you called me your boyfriend. He's there in front of everybody. It was amazing. The first thing that came to my mind. The first thing. The first thing. I was... I reciprocate your feelings, too, Baldwin. A very good point, and I'm sure everybody else is wondering, uh, what's in the punch, Grimo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, shall we proceed? Stop. Why did you break up the wedding? I had to stop you from making the monumental mistake. Lucky is my brother. Telling him the truth is not a mistake. We pledged our love. I said you would always be in my heart. It was loving each other through pain that brought us together then. And now I get to show you the same patience and love and understanding that you showed me. And I promise to be the best wife I can be. And to stand beside you no matter what life puts in our way. And I give myself and my body and my soul to you and our family. Because I love you, and I am so proud to be your wife. To say that two people belong together would be too easy. I stumbled. We stumbled. When we stopped, we picked each other up, and here we are. the bride. Boy, I am so happy for both of you. <laughs> all right, thank smile, you. all of you. Come on. Picture. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you did it. You worked it out. <laughs> well, pay all attention. Right. If I can well, do it, you can. Yeah, Perfect. Thank you. Oh, oh, Bobby. Oh, What's going on with you? It's just, it's been an emotional day. All right. All right. You have shown enormous restraint. Don't blow it now by running away. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm surprised to see you here. Yeah, Carly, uh, it, it's just a love story. <laughs> well, I'm... Glad to see you anyway. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you. Elizabeth and I, we both owe you very much. Well, this is a happy day. How about a hug? Now you have to stay away from Jason, Mrs. Spencer. What's up, Kaz? Congratulations! <sighs> why, why, why did you object? You should call me your boyfriend, man. You should call me your Everyone, I would like to propose a toast. <laughs> to the 
woman who's taught me the meaning of love and loyalty. She's someone who's taught me to be a better man, a better husband, a better father. To the love of my life, to our son, I love you both. And to this little miracle that Elizabeth is going to give birth to. Thank you for making me the happiest man on earth. Thank you. Oh, here. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's seeing you so happy. <laughs> hey! Where's your interesting friend Spinelli? Oh, somewhere. Um, congratulations. I hope that you make my brother happy. Well, I plan to. And I hope whatever I did to upset you, we can put behind us and be sisters again. Why'd you show up at the wedding? I didn't want to show up. The one who called me asked me to, and Spinelli said that you might make an announcement that I was the father, okay? And you said that if, if Lucky went back to Bill's because of you, you would blame yourself, and I didn't want that to happen, so I thought if you'd sold me there... No, no, it wasn't you that sought me, and it wasn't Spinelli. It was seeing how happy my brother is and how much that baby means to him, and now I am more confused than ever. When I was young, I needed a bone marrow transplant, and they found a donor, a perfect match. It was Nicholas. And that's how everybody found out that my mom had a son before Lucky, that I had another brother. What if that happens to your baby? If the truth comes out, Lucky's gonna be devastated. And the longer that I stay silent, the worse my brother's gonna hurt. Four people know that I'm the father. Me, Elizabeth, you, and Spinelli. Well, maybe Elizabeth's conscience will get the better of her. She has well, one. Elizabeth wants Lucky to be the father. That's why they got married. She is not gonna tell anybody. Neither Spinelli. And he deleted the paternity test. So I said, it's up to you what you want to do. Well, I'm not going to be the one to devastate my brother. This is your child. Why aren't you fighting for it? I'm the next general hospital. If I tell the truth, I'm going to be hurting my child. What if the truth comes out? Is it too soon? It's more than that. Since you did some time, you're right. You should be able to handle what I'm setting up. What are you two doing? What does it look like? 